So on a night of first impressions, first period goals, defending first place, and a first-rate power play. All in all, a decidedly one-sided 4-0 win for the Rangers over the St. Louis Blues on Garden Ice. Welcome inside our Delta MSG studios from the Garden. Alongside Brian Boyle, I'm John Giannone. So much to like in those 60 minutes. Is four more impressive than zero? What's the most, what's the takeaway for you? Well, Igor was good. He had to be at certain times. There were a few breakdowns. That's going to happen. I, I just love they had some time off. They had you know, an emotional couple days. That, that's for everybody with the trade deadline. They took care of business. This was a game that they should have won. At no point were they in danger of losing it right from the start. They got better as the game went on, I thought, and they just, again, they took care of business, and they didn't, let, they didn't give St. Louis any life. Yeah, and after coming out of five days off, that loss against Florida on Monday in which they scored two power play goals. The Rangers had three more man advantage goals tonight. And if the power play starts to heat up the way it did for a good portion of this season already, as you get closer to the playoffs, that is just an astounding weapon to have. Well, it's going to be, it's necessary. You really need it because there's different deficiencies in your games. Depends on matchups in the playoffs, but they do it in different ways. And, you know, their first power play goal it doesn't look like it's that fancy. There's not much going on. They're not snapping it all over the place. The first power play, they had good perimeter movement. They had a couple one-time chances. I like that they took the shot from the top middle to a stick blade, not trying to score from the point shot to create some chaos. And we go back to the well sometimes here, where this shot is purposely shot wide from Panarin to try and get the tip. But Chris Kreider knows how these boards work. The puck comes straight out to him, a little chip shot and in the net. That was what was open, that was what was given. They took what was given, and Panarin does that so well. But what I like the most, honestly, is I know it's a power play, and but Kapokak goes on the power play. He goes to the net, he gets a rebound on the doorstep and finishes. Any goal in the NHL makes you feel good. Another power play goal, he could show that the staff, he's, he's able to play that net front presence. It's just more information for Peter, La Peter Laviolette Another way they can use Capo Caco to get more offense out of him. And he, he, he proved him tonight that he could do that. one nothing goal, 2 nothing goal, 4 nothing goal, all on the power play. The only goal that wasn't a power play goal was scored by Jimmy Vesey late in the first period. Let's hear from Vesey inside the Rangers dressing room with Michelle Jingris. In the pregame, we talked a little bit about making the most of having that time off. How do you think like, you guys came out tonight? Uh, I thought we came out great. Uh, started the game really well, I thought. And... Um, Obviously, it was nice to, to get the first goal and then be up two after one. But, um, yeah, overall, I thought we, we played a, a pretty solid game. And, um, you know, as always, some minor things to, to clean up, but I thought it was a good team effort. Did you feel like you played a, a pretty disciplined game tonight? Yeah, I mean, I thought, uh, I thought we deserved the, the win. Um, you know, I think the power plays were kind of lopsided in our favor. I think that shows we... Uh, we maybe had the puck more and uh, forced them to, to take the penalty. So I um, thought it was a uh, solid effort. Um, they're really good off the rush, and, you know, we try to limit limit those as best we can, and I um, thought we did a pretty good job tonight. What worked so well for your line tonight and just the dynamic that you guys had? Yeah, I think it was just uh, forechecking, and um, I thought Rems played great. He, uh, he was in on the forecheck all night, and, you know, Taking the body, turning pucks over, and um, you know, thought uh, it was nice to to get the goal off a kind of a neutral zone. But um, thought our line could have had, you know, a bunch of goals tonight. You mentioned just the, your goal in particular, just where that started with the neutral zone turnover as well. What did you see from your line mates in that pass from Barclay? Yeah, that's just our uh, neutral zone uh, one three one, and um, I thought we did it. Uh, as good as he could do and um, you know could he made a great play to uh, to see me kind of taken off and um, fortunately their D had gone for a change so we got a good break and um, I was actually looking to pass to, to Remps but uh, uh, took the shot and Luckily, I went in. Jimmy, with the way the standings are going now, Carolina won today. They had pulled to within two points. Are you paying too much attention to any attention to that at all? And, and does that make this win more important? Yeah, it's a big win. Any win is a big win. Um, you know, we know this is crunch time. I don't, I don't think necessarily we're, uh, you know, overly concerned with what other teams are doing, but um, we're aware of it. And um, we get those guys one more time. So that'll be a, a big divisional game. And, um, 
that's about it. We're focused on ourselves. And that game is Tuesday night in Carolina, but they have more work to do Monday against the Devils. Let's talk about that fourth line. Jimmy Vesey played 12 and a half minutes. Barkley Goodrow 13 and a half. Of course, he kills penalties. Matt Rempe played the most minutes that he's played since he's been with the Rangers at a little more than 11. What's the sweet spot and what made the fourth line effective tonight? Well, you want to try to get him in a rotation if, if you can. Every fourth shift, if you can do it and, and sort of balance the ice time out, you're going to get more from especially the bottom six. Now, your top six guys who might need a few more minutes, you're going to cater to them. But I thought Matt Rempe tonight was skating really well, and that's a product of having a regular shift. He was involved, obviously physically, as he has to be and is every single night. But picture six minutes or five minutes. You're sitting for a very long time. This is a big man. It's hard to sprint and then sit down for 12 minutes of, of daytime, really. I mean, you, it's, it's difficult if you're not over and over in, into the play, you know, staying loose. And when you do that, too, you, the confidence factor goes up. You don't overanalyze little mistakes. And these guys were in straight lines all night. I, I love Barkley Goudreau's game. I love Matt Rempe's game. Obviously, you know, the, the production that you've got from VC has been unbelievable. He's going to continue to try and score goals. You have an identity on your fourth line. You're in a great place as a team. Yeah, and they sure showed it during their time on the ice tonight. We mentioned it was a night of firsts. First impression for Alex Wenberg as a Ranger and vice versa. Rangers getting their first look at him in blue. He had an assist on the night. Alex Wenberg moments ago inside the Rangers dressing room with Michelle Jingris. No, it's good. Uh, obviously, it's, a, it's been a lot of things going on, but uh, for me, coming in here and uh, obviously the first couple of shifts maybe a little rusty, but for me, it felt great. Obviously, coming to a great team here as well, and uh, at the end of the day, all that matters is winning the points here and get the win, and I feel like we did a hell of a team effort today. It seemed like you and Cooley had some pretty instant chemistry, like setting him up for shots and stuff. Just what did you think about your line in general? And no, just, just like you said, I feel like we were finding each other pretty well. Uh, like I said, these guys I never played with before, uh, it takes some time to build chemistry but right away you feel like there's something there so excited to see what we can build on but uh, like I said first first game has been really good yeah the play on the PK Alex where, where you got the takeaway and then drew the penalty was that just a, a matter of being aggressive like what was your read on that yeah I mean obviously it's a little different from when we played in Seattle but for me they told me to be aggressive and I mean I have the opportunity I just wish uh, I was a little bit faster would have been a breakaway but uh, I mean drawing a penalty counts too so I just it felt good, for sure. You've come into this building as an opponent, so now to be a member of this team and playing in Madison Square Garden, what was that like for you? Did you have a minute to kind of take yeah. in that moment? No, it's amazing. And like I said, uh, it's a dream country playing here as a away team, but being in the home team uh, Saturday night and get the win, can it get better than that? No, not really. So. How about the effort tonight from start to finish? It seemed like you guys were in control. Can you talk about the strong effort for, for the full 60? No, just like you said, it felt like we had control of the game. And, I mean, power play was clicking. I feel like we did a good job in the PK. And 5 on five, we created chances. So it was a really solid game. Goaltending was amazing as well. So, I mean, obviously it's a really good first win for me and for the team. And we're just looking forward to the next one. You would have been. 15 minutes and 12 seconds of ice time for Alex Wenberg. He had two takeaways. He had an assist as well. Uh, a night that couldn't have been easy for him, but he made it look like it wasn't as difficult as it might have been. I think he's a really smart player. and you know He played in Columbus. He's been out in Seattle. He played a lot in Seattle. Had a big role on that team, regardless of his offensive output. I think they have enough offensive players in New York where this guy is going to fit in and be a really effective player. He can check. He had tough matchups in the Western Conference all year long. He's a really responsible guy, and he can skate. Now, look, it's emotional to get traded. It's emotional to travel from west to east. Sometimes you might run out of gas. I was really impressed. He's, and that's, that's just the product of a smart hockey player. He does a lot of things really well, and I think it's a great pickup for the Rangers. It just He seems to have a good head on his shoulders. He had the right mentality. The coaching staff tells him, go out, play hard, skate. That's a great message for him. And then you learn as you go. You watch video every day. You start understanding sort of your teammates and the language that's being talked to you on the bench behind you. Every coach is a little bit different. I think it's going to get better and better. It was a real positive first game for him. And that was his first Rangers point, the assist on that goal by Capo Caco. Part of a night in which the Rangers dominated from start to finish. And the first star of the night was the goaltender, Igor Shesterkin.